This white stuff may not even look like an insect from a distance, let alone something related to a cicada. But these moth-like insects called white flies are a hemoptera. These little boogers are a major pest in greenhouses and in citrus plantations. The nymphs are wingless and they produce a white waxy substance. These two are odd little homopterans that are known to most people. While some aphids hardly feed at all, others build up in such numbers as to kill the plant. It appears that aphids mostly reproduce asexually in the tropics and that only one individual male aphid has been found in Costa Rica. So much for free love in a tropical paradise. This ladybird beetle larva is a predator of aphids. So it's just checking out today's specials. Over 50% of plant diseases are transmitted by aphids. So let's root for the ladybird larva. However, ants drink the honeydew of aphids often actively stimulating the aphids to produce even more. Ants, of course, provide the protection from would-be aphid predators. Scale insects use lots of wax to form a protective shell, disguising the fact that they are real insects underneath, complete with legs and all. Compared to ants, they're less active than even sloths, and generally stay fixed on the plant drinking sap. The larger, more rounded females contrast with the smaller, scale-like males. All the ants' hubbub is about drinking sugar-rich honeydew from the scale insects. Another insect-insect mutualism. Scale insects are major pests of crops, and with that protective shell, they're hard to kill. Their eggs are then protected from both pesticides and predators. Armored scale insects form circular coverings of wax and old skins. They can be major pests of many plants, including citrus. <laughs> Any orange or lemon could have dozens or more of these tiny homopterans embedded in the fruit skin. Mealybugs are scale insects without scales or any armor, but are covered with a flaky white layer of wax. They too provide honeydew for ants. Some species are major pests on Costa Rican exports, such as pineapple. Some males are totally different from the scale-like sedentary females. They have a single pair of wings and no feeding beak, so life's all about cruising for the babes. The fulgorids are known by many names. Dragon-headed bugs, alligator-headed bugs, peanut-headed bugs, or lantern-headed bugs. They are the largest homoptera. Fulgorids feed on tree sap, and they can be found on the trunks of trees that they prefer. Notice the position of the ocelli of the wart-headed fulgorid. While not common, they sometimes come to patio lights at night. These plant hoppers produce fancy trailing plumes of white wax produced from their abdomen. Maybe this gives their enemy a false impression that they have been killed by fungus. The function of the expanded front of the lantern bug's head is still a mystery. Like most fulgorids, it produces large quantities of wax that cover its body. Large eye spots on the lower wings flash out to surprise any predator. The mythology of the fulgorids is fascinating. 
Stories throughout Latin America have it that the head lights up or that it is deadly dangerous. In Costa Rica, if the lantern bug or machaca bites a girl, she must have sex with her boyfriend within 24 hours. Failure to do so results in death. Ah, machaca. This must be my lucky day. Oh, yes, my little buddy. So, always be on the lookout for the machaca. No matter how these diverse animals are classified, they're cool to watch and interesting to study.